The Samsung C01U Pro is a very affordable USB microphone that costs about 75 euros and today I'm going to review it. The C01U Pro comes with a USB cable, a user guide, a microphone stand and a swivel mount. Oh, and of course there is also a little adapter included, more about that later on. The included microphone stand, which is a tripod, is quite solid. I really like its build quality, however, it might be a little bit small for a microphone like this. Then there is also the included swivel mount, which can be used to mount the microphone to the included tripod or to some other microphone stand since it is compatible with the standard thread that most microphone stands use. If your microphone stand uses a different thread, you can use that included adapter that we just talked about. Now let's move on to the microphone itself. The very first thing I noticed when I took it out of the box is that it isn't a lightweight microphone. This microphone does have some weight to it. Not only is it a heavy microphone, it also feels like a very solid product. The body of the microphone is made entirely out of aluminium, and overall I think the build quality is pretty decent. All the way down at the bottom, you'll find a USB port which is used to connect the microphone to a computer. The fact that it uses USB makes this microphone extremely easy to use. You just plug it in and it works. You don't even have to install a driver. It does use a custom USB port, so you do have to use that included USB cable. Moving up slightly, we can see that there is a headphones jack on the microphone. Now you might be thinking, why the hell would you want a headphones jack on the microphone? Well, it's actually a real-time monitoring port. You can plug your headphones into this port, and then you'll be able to hear your own voice through the headphones when you are talking into the microphone without any delay. You can also use this headphones jack as your default audio output. In that case, you can also use it to listen to your music and other sounds that your computer produces. Above the headphones jack, there is a small LED. Now this is obviously a power LED which lights up green when the microphone is turned on. But it's also a small level meter. If you talk too loud or too close to the microphone and you're clipping the microphone, the LED turns red in order to warn you. So when it turns red, you know that you'll have to talk less loud or move slightly further away from the microphone. This feature is very nice if you're using the microphone in some kind of live broadcasting environment. Apart from the USB port, the headphones jack and the LED, the microphone doesn't have any other ports, lights, dials or buttons, so that means no volume knob and not even an on-off switch. You can however adjust the volume through your computer. Now let's talk about some specs of the microphone. First of all, the microphone has a supercardioid pickup pattern. This is basically a very directional pickup pattern, which means that sounds that are produced in front of the microphone get picked up very well, while sounds that are produced behind the microphone or next to the microphone will sound a lot quieter. This pickup pattern is ideal for recording voiceovers because ambient noises don't get picked up by the microphone that well, which means that there will be less noise in the recording. Also, the microphone has a frequency response ranging from 20 to 18,000 Hz. Now this is basically about the range of the human ear, so this frequency response range should be fine. Also, the frequency response is quite flat, which is very good for studio recording purposes. Then the microphone also has a medium-sized 19mm diaphragm, and it also has a 16-bit 48kHz analog to digital converter, which should be absolutely fine for most people. So at this point you're probably wondering what this microphone actually sounds like. Well, I can tell you one thing. You've been listening to it all the time, since all of the voiceovers in this video are recorded using this microphone. In my opinion, the sound quality is excellent. When it comes down to sound quality, 
this microphone can definitely compete with much more expensive microphones. So in conclusion, for about 75 euros, you get a microphone that's got some nice features, decent build quality, and above all, amazing sound quality. And of course there are drawbacks, but I think that this microphone is not only a great value for money product, it is also a great product in general. Now I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.